Hi traders, welcome to my live trading session today, a recording of my live trading session today. Take a look at the S&P 500. We start down today. It's a big gap down. And as you can see, the first candle is green and you would expect it to be green because when we start with a big gap down, the first upside move is expected, but then I do expect it to pull back down and come down. So the first thing I'm looking for is a long in the direction of the S&P. Always look for a trade in the direction of the S&P. Now the first trade I found today was PDD as you can see that PDD is up 15% and I'm going to go long here because it's likely to continue higher I'm buying 2,000 shares right now expecting it to move over the highs and continue its uptrend it's uptrending and also I expect the S&P to continue uptrending therefore I hope that PDD will reach my first target first target should be almost one point so I'll be looking for a target uh, I just bought it over 67 my target is going to be very close to 68 I'm a little bit concerned of the whole number. It could stop it on the way up. It's going sideways. It's a fast forward of what happened today to PTD. And at the same time, the S&P is moving higher as could have been expected. When the S&P is moving higher, you would also expect the stock that you trade to follow the S&P, which is normally what happens in the S&P continues pdd just uh, moved up to a new high it's getting close to my target at my target right now took my partial and look at the s p the s p moved higher it did move over the highs but it's also showing me some signs of reversal so throughout the whole process the s p did not reject to the fact that the pdd was moving higher it was moving higher itself and as you can see now we're having some topping tails now these topping tails indicate that maybe this is the point where the S&P will look down now so I'm looking for a short and I'm looking for a stock that is relatively weak now I found Nvidia which is down 0.5 percent it's weaker than the market it moved up it closed the gap it's down trending nice breakdown formation and I'm shorting 2,000 shares here so uh, I was looking for a stock that was moving up earlier with the direction of the S&P. Now with it, I suspect that the S&P may pull back down, I'm shorting. So again, let's go back to the S&P. As you can see, the S&P is moving sideways for quite a long time, which is a little bit of a worry. But you can also see that it tried to move higher and failed. So I'm looking at several topping tails in the S&P, and they do indicate that the S&P again is likely to come down. So I'm looking for another trade, another indication, another stock that may indicate to me that it wants to come down. Just found Amazon. It's down 0.2%, almost 0.3. I'm shorting here 2,000 shares. So Amazon started weak today, as you can see here, and then moved up a little bit too much actually but you know the fact is it has a very nice breakdown formation here and i expect it to move down especially if the s p will move down so i'm watching the s p and i'm watching amazon amazon is coming down i have a small profit right now and again i'm always watching the s p to make sure that it is moving lower and it is uh, I mean, kind of moving sideways, but at the same time, you can see that NVIDIA, which was very weak, is coming down to my target. I'm up over $2,000, just touched my target. And again, it's a fast forward of what happened to NVIDIA. I'm taking my partial here exactly at my one point mark. And as you can see, NVIDIA did come down to the lows, but look at the S&P. Now, the S&P is still going sideways, which makes me worried and now it's touching the highs and about to move over to a new high and at that point there's no reason for me to keep holding a stock that did not reach my target so watch what happens to amazon amazon just decided to follow the s p 500 my original stop in amazon was one point which is around 130 40 or so and uh 13140 there's no reason for me to hold to that point so i'm going to stop it over the whole number 139 i'm going to move over 131 which is very close now now and i'm moving out at a loss 1300 dollars or so in amazon because the S&P was making the first move up. When the S&P is making the move up, there's no reason for you to hold. So again, 
Um, I will finish my day with just three trades today. The first one uh, was PDD, $1,800 winner, and then came NVIDIA, a nice winner, over $2,000 on the short side, and then a loser, $1,300 or so in Amazon. And uh, the end result is nice, $2,700 up. But, you know, the main thing for you to remember from this video, always, always watch the S&P 500. When the S&P starts with a very big gap down, you expect it to move up and then fail, which did not happen today. But I've done it in the right way, meaning I was expecting it to move higher, therefore I was looking for a stock which is relatively strong. I mean, PDD is now over 20% up and the S&P is still in red territory. So you look for a stock that is relatively strong, you look for a reversal, you look for an uptrending stock, you buy it as you expect the S&P to move higher. And then once you reach your target, uh, you're still looking for the S&P and when you see some indication that it may come down, you look for a stock which is relatively weak and I found Nvidia and then I thought it will, it will come down and I took a stock which was not as weak as Nvidia, Amazon, which did not work out. So Amazon used the excuse of the S&P moving higher to take me out. And it keeps moving higher because it will follow the S&P. So it was not as weak as Nvidia. It did not, definitely did not reach my target. And that's why I have an, a loser in Amazon. But, you know, anyway, I was, uh, I was hoping for a direction and I was wrong about uh, the fact that the S&P did finally move over the highs. And that's also one of the reasons I have a loser in Amazon. I hope that helped. And if you did, Please give me a like, it will help my channel and help more people like you enjoy day trading videos. If you want to subscribe, there's a button right here, so hit on the subscribe button and on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And please, please remember that trading is extremely hard and most traders do lose money. There's links below here to the same platform I'm using, which is the Colmex Pro platform, if you want to trade the same platform. But please start with a demo. It doesn't cost you anything, Start with a demo, and if you feel you're safe enough, maybe consider moving into real money. So plenty of links right here below. One of them is to my live training room where you can join us for a free 14-day trial. Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next video.